<laughs> good day, good day. How the hunk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and Roverland is the channel that's anything and everything about Land Rovers. And today we're going to talk about a uh, one of Wednesday. Yeah, one of Wednesday. I got uh, some little buggers here, and we're going to kind of talk about this one, that one, and then every other one. If you guys missed out, <clears throat> I just had an uh, unboxing video last Saturday, and uh, check that out. And I got this little bugger right here. It came with this one here, a uh, little Volkswagen. Uh, curious enough, I know nothing about these things. Look at the, um, just look at the um, axle here on this one, how it's uh, trimmed out or, you know, squashed on the end there. It's got a button, huge button on the side. Now, the Volkswagen's got rubber wheels, uh, steel stamped die cast, no markings whatsoever. I can't find a thing. Oh, then I just dropped it. All right, well, we're done talking about that. <laughs> So we come to this little bugger here, and um, I bought it. You guys know that I'm into little plastics and little metal cars and stuff like that, little cheapy stuff, kind of hard to find stuff. So anyway, this one is crazy too. Um, as far as I know, these are plastic, little plastic wheels on it. Big, huge button um, head on the rivet, which then is uh, smashed, crimped, as you see, uh, just kind of, yeah, just kind of crudely, a little bit shorter than what the uh, the Volkswagen had. Uh, it, it does have a painted front grille. Now, I think that might be an add-on. I'm not really sure. But uh, definitely a Land Rover. Now, the, why I bought it was, is it says Japan on the back there of the the uh, lower part of the uh, screen there. You see the uh, in the bed, <coughs> it says Japan. A little dude that's supposed to be that in there, I'm uh, sure. No steering wheel and this uh, little kind of uh, fence... Uh, um, you know, uh, windshield. It's got two particularly neat uh, little bumps here on the hood, like uh, hood latches. What a what a neat little thing to add for uh, such a little bugger. And then uh, what would be like a Series One type grill. Yeah, eggs on the grill there. So very kind of interesting. Once again, no markings at all underneath other than just on the bed it says Japan you don't get many toys from Japan anymore that's for sure um very very crude uh casting a huge casting line there on the side no casting lines for the doors or anything like that it's got a seam in the the middle and the back there um yeah, just just quite a thing. So, did some research. Oh man, did I ever. I did some research. Now, I found some that kind of looked like this. Green with a little red dude or a tan dude called a Jeep that was by a company, AHI. And I'm like, okay, I think I found it. AHI company. This is what this is. Made in Japan. You know, crude looking, such and so forth. HO scale, really small. Uh, you know, made, uh, you know, in the 70s, 60s, 70s. Uh, from a company uh, out of New York. No. The more I look to um, this... Um, AHI company, the more I looked into them and their rendition, uh, it did not, it wasn't working. It, this is not what it is. It is not an AHI, which I would have been happy with. Pretty cool little guy. The uh, little dude on an AHI, AHI, they, um, 
hold the steering wheel. The dude, the arms, and the steering wheel are the piece that inserts there. And I'm assuming that's what this had. Um, you know, the, you know, it's a it, it's probably a copy from this um, Lens Lesley Lesney. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure it's a copy from this old Lens Lesney that I have here. You know. Uh, pretty, pretty sure. This is an old bugger. Uh, you know, got the gray wheels with the knobs on it, the Series 1. You know, made it a little bit smaller, you know. Here's a little plastic one. Uh, now this one, you know, a little bit bigger, you know. This one, I think, uh, yeah, made in Hong Kong. I mean, who, who, you can't buy toys from Hong Kong. This one, oh my goodness, cost me a whole whopping dollar. Well, it's not this one, although it's a nice little Series 1, you know. Uh, this one, uh, obviously, the steering wheel's on the wrong side. Pretty pretty cool that way. You know, here's the old uh, the old uh, Morrison, Morristone uh, one, you know, so it's about that size. And I, what I'm doing, guys, is I'm trying to get you enough information and, and take a look at, you know, what I've got compared to these other models to let me know down in the comments do you know what this is uh, is this just a cheapy cheapy knockoff uh no name you know out of the bubblegum machine for a nickel or you know was there a whole brand you know here's this one here this is the uh the british the l12 feet this is uh what is this model oh i can't remember model royal royal models what was this this is kind of HO stuff right here, you know, so it, it doesn't, you know, this plastic, you know, so that can't, it can't be that. The uh, other thing that I got here, uh, I think this is uh, the Impy, isn't it? Uh, mini, mini cars. Yeah, mini cars made in Spain. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit bigger than, than that, that one there. Of course, this one is plastic, but it's still HO. Um, Boy, really, really close as far as uh, scale, you know. Um, and, you know, I think that they were trying to go after uh, HO with with this here. So maybe, maybe it came in a uh, cheap train set or something like that. But, uh, yeah, what do you think? Do you got anything like this? I mean... Uh, this this is crazy. I I'm, I don't know what it is. I'd like to find out a little bit more about it. Uh, if you could, uh, first off, give me a big thumb. I'm going to give you a big thumbs. Give me a big thumbs up. Uh, yeah, big thumbs up. And then uh, subscribe. And then after you do that, go down to the comments there and uh, let me know if you know or have or seen anything like this. Uh, it just would like to know. I mean, this is why I started this channel is so I could find uh, weird stuff like this and maybe one of my subscribers or a Land Rover enthusiast or a toy fanatic or geek or whatever you want to call yourselves and myself. <laughs> uh, what do you got? Cheese balls. I don't know. This is crazy. This is crazy. I, I, I don't have any idea. And I... I looked and I looked, uh, Japanese toys, tin toys, die cast Japanese toys, you know, so, uh, I am clueless. So if you could help me out, that would be awesome. Yeah. Like I say, come on down to before, come on over to Facebook, come on over there, Facebook to Roverland, uh, post your picture of what you got. Yeah. Facebook Roverland right over there. And, uh, I got to go before I lose my voice. <laughs> I got a cold. Do you, can you tell? Anyway, yeah, come on over to Facebook or Instagram. Uh, that, that's over that way. Uh, Roverland Channel. Check us out over there. Uh, but, yeah, if you have any clue across the pond, across the desert, over the mountains, anywhere, if you've got anything like this, let me know. That would be awesome. You know some train people. Maybe they would know. Ask them. Huh? All right. Well, that's it. I got to get out of here before I die. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great spring. <laughs> I'm out of here. This is your friend Dano. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.